I think it started recording. So, hi guys, this is going to be a very short but hopefully a very comprehensive tutorial on how to create animation using SolidWorks. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize for not making this earlier because I was very, very busy working on my dissertations. So, let's go and make. Okay, let's start from scratch, guys. No problem. I'm going to assume that you guys know how to create parts. So, let's just go to assembly. And let's do the sandwich composite structures because I have been doing this recently, two weeks ago. Let's go there. No, let's put it here. Okay, so any sandwich composite structure consists of five things the core, two adhesive layers, and two face sheets. Let's add those. First adhesive layer. Second adhesive layer. First face sheet. And the second face sheet. Now let's make them. Put them in the right position. This is just like translate instances in, in Abacus, if you are familiar with that. And this face goes to this face. Sorry. Okay. Next, the other side. Nope. Yes. Actually, let's go. Let's go with edges. Okay, now we are done. <laughs> Click OK. Let's see. Let's check out our assembly. Yep. Okay, everything is assembled. Now let's start the tutorial and show you how, how you guys can make an animation out of this. How to create an animation on how you guys assembled or created the sandwich structure. Like the one I just made few weeks ago. So you click by an ex uh, exploded view. It will give you two options. This option means that all the uh, parts you, you're gonna group together, they're gonna move in the same direction. The other option means they're gonna move away from each other. Let me just demonstrate that. Let's click two face sheets. If I go to any direction, okay, they will always go together. Let's delete this one again. Let's click the other one. If I move them, they will move away from each other. Away. So let's go to an inch. Now let's click done. Let's add this mm -hmm. and the other adhesive layer. Okay. Let's go down. Let's give them 0.5. Yeah, I think this is this is good. So, click done, and then click OK. So now, just to make sure that everything is good and you are in a good shape, go to configurations and then right-click collapse. Yep, this is exactly how it's supposed to. Click explode. Okay, that's good. So now you guys, if you if you are not very interested in how to in uh, creating motions different for, uh, like cameras from different angles while in uh, the while the animation is playing, like for example this while the animation is playing, do you don't if you don't want the view to be changed while it's playing, 
you, you just like go here, stay here, go back, right click, animate collapse. Okay, so this will create an animation for you guys from this view while it's stationary. However, for the sake of demonstration and uh, this tutorial, I'm gonna create an animation with different angles and views from different angles. So, if, if, you, if you are okay with that, just click save and you can save it. You can click the extension you want, frames and everything, frame per, uh, per second and also the ratio. You can delete the sides, the spaces here where you guys are uh, like I'm not, not using nothing in the spaces so for example you can go to 4 3 it will delete these two sides anyways I'm gonna show you how to create angles so everything is good go to motion study okay and then so you guys have three options first option is to create uh, a motion for your uh, for your model. This is the one I made in my comprehensive exam. If you guys remember uh, during the flexural bending test. But now I'm gonna do explode and collapse. Explode means the disassembly of your model. Collapse means the assembly of your model. For the sake also of this demonstration, I'm gonna do both in the same video just to show you guys. So click next. I wanted to start from zero seconds from here. This is zero. And I wanted to take eight or seven or whatever, let's just say eight seconds to finish the whole animation. It's created these things. So guys, these diamonds here are responsible, have uh, different parts. They have functions. So the second one here is always, always responsible for the cameras. Okay. So if I want, so let's just click calculate. I will show you. Now I did not add any cameras, so it's gonna keep uh, creating an animation for this view. However, from this angle, I wanted it to move while it's it's creating the animation all the way here to this angle. Okay, so I want to go horizontally. So you guys, I don't know why SolidWorks didn't add didn't add add horizontal lines. It would have make it much much easier but anyways you really want to go horizontal because if you go down if you shift down a little bit you're gonna create another function and you don't want to do that so let's go back so as I said I want to move from this view let's just say to this view to this corner here while it's animated so I'm gonna pick the time I want any time I want while staying horizontally Let's just say four seconds. I don't know. Let's just say seven seconds. Place key. Now, if I click calculate, see, it keeps moving from one view to the other view. Okay. So now I'm gonna add the collapse. Now, sorry, back. Collapse. Next. Now it's gonna start from eight seconds, okay? Because I wanted to show both in the same video. You can create an animation for for explosion, disassembly, and assembly in the same video. If you st if you click zero here, it's gonna start from here and it's gonna override whatever you have done. You, you can also do that. Let's say okay, another eight seconds. Let's click finish. <sighs> okay, click calculate. Okay, very good. Now let's say I wanted to move from here. Go zoom in. And, and okay, let's press key here. And then let's go zoom out. Not to this angle. And let's add another one. If I click calculate now, I 
again guys this is very bad uh, positions for the cameras but I'm just showing you guys if I want to be more reasonable this is not necessary and everything is ready now we just go to save and here you can uh, select whatever extension as I told you ABI MP4 uh, MKB FLV here you can create the, the higher this number the higher the resolution the longer the time the longer the time it takes to render the video and also the higher the size of the video and here as I said earlier the aspect ratio of the view you have and I, I, I like I like to save it as mb4 so let's go with 8 so let's go let's call it let's call it what let's call it okay animation tutorial on this quick save Okay, it created the video on my other screen here. I'm gonna play it for you guys. Uh, guys, don't worry about this lag. I promise it won't it won't be there in the final version. But this is I have a very very terrible bad uh, video player, <laughs> or maybe the graphics. I don't know. It's either one of them. Let's maybe try again. Maybe it work. No, no, the video player is very bad. It won't, it won't lag. I promise you guys that it will be very smooth while playing. Anyways, if you guys are not interested in the first part where it's it's a symbol, what you can do is like go here, save as, go here. Time range starts from eight. Since I I know from zero to eight was the disassembly part. From eight to sixteen is the assembly part, and let's call it animation two. And it's gonna be MP4. Let's go to and let's delete the extension, it will save it anyway. So if I only do this part from 8 to 16 and click save. Okay, I have the video in the other screen. I'm just pay for it. So, see, as you can see, it will start from again. This this lag, guys, is uh, won't be there if your graphic is good or video player. I don't know what's the problem in mine. You can also, guys, control the speed from here, which speed you like. You can go it even faster. You know, you can go very fast, or you can make it really, really slow. You know, it's up to you. You have so many speeds to um, uh, select from. So th that was the tutorial, guys. If you have any other, if you have more questions, just let me know. Okay, I'm signing out. Thank you, guys.